release of PetSim 99's latest update came a lot of things. People grinded ranks faster than PetSim could take your Robux because everyone was pumped to claim their amazing and incredible hype eggs. And that totally happened, right? Well, except for the fact that it didn't. More on that later. On top of that, everybody got free exclusive egg chances. Those were showing up all over the place. It was a first for the game and players were pumped beyond belief. Little free to play Timmy was so excited to play and he could not wait to get his very first exclusive egg. Except for the fact that those were nowhere to be found. But Red, you're an idiot. Preston totally said they exist. And to this picture, I say, you know what? They probably do. In a galaxy far, far away where we all can use the force to try to spawn one in our area. No, but honestly, I asked my entire community and nobody saw this spawn in their area once. Please let me know if you guys saw one. Partners got 200 free exclusive eggs. Why wouldn't all players have a chance to spawn just one? randomly in their area because you know what that just makes sense i don't know if you guys know this but the treasure hideout was absolutely epic on launch until it wasn't in area 166 we saw the addition to xp potions and these bad boys were gonna change the game forever and give players a much needed help in grinding the game you could upgrade your hugest faster your titanics your mastery your ultimate faster it was absolutely incredible except for the fact that it wasn't. More on that later too. And of course, everybody, so much more. But before we jump into that, let's go ahead and give away some free stuff. Rit228, thank you so much for being subscribed. I hope I win a huge because I'm not that rich and I want to be ready for the next update. Well, pro Rick 228 thank you so much for the comment being subscribed. Enjoy this huge goblin provided by the incredible Corrupted Cakes 1002. Boom, boom, boom. Are you super sure you don't know this person? Yes, I am super sure. Boom. And of course, everybody, booyah. By the way, this thing increases exponentially with everything you send in the mail. We'll talk about this more later too. As always, gamers, if you guys want me to send you some stuff, all you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, drop a like on the video, and make sure you guys put your Roblox name in the comment section. And for some reason, if you guys wanna send me something for a giveaway and get a shout out in the video, my username is starcode underscore red ninja, and this is a zero, not an O. Now, first up, gamers, let's go ahead and talk about that hype bag. I covered it a little bit in detail yesterday. I went and bought a whole bunch of them. I spent over 850 million gems grabbing a bunch but what was the whole deal with them and why was everyone so upset about it so if we pop over to the big games blog we can read hype eggs get hyped free hype eggs for getting on for the update now it says chance for getting titanic party cat huge party dragon all that good stuff but hey that's not what we're talking about it says right here log in after the update within 10 minutes okay we're going to talk about this in just a second it says you got to play for 45 minutes and you receive hype eggs based on your rank however gamers this is on the blog how many pet simulator 99 plus players are going over to read their blog well it just so happens that i was live during that event for about four hours and let me show you guys the message that popped up for everyone that logged into the game let's check it out right here so stay in line for the update log in after the update it does not say 10 minutes anywhere on this Play for 45 minutes, it says event ends in 11 hours and 57 minutes. So, I'm going to pause it right here. This right here basically told everybody that they had 12 hours to log into the game. Nobody knew that it was only for 10 minutes after the update came out to claim those eggs. Everyone was under the impression that they would have 12 hours to do it. So, for the normal everyday player that does not read the blogs, this right here does not say anything about 10 minutes. And everyone thought they had 12 hours to log into the game, so they there were lots of players that never actually got the hype eggs so that's why a lot of players were super upset about this now here's the thing gamers i'm not saying big games is wrong and that they're absolutely monsters they did say 10 minutes before the update in their blog post so i do give them credit for that but with that said for the normal everyday player you gotta spell it out for everybody it's gotta be right there bold faced plain as day that you gotta be logged in 10 minutes, blah, 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 all that stuff. And I'm not saying players are dumb like me. I'm just saying that people have a short attention span. So if you don't put it right in front of their face saying, hey, this is what you gotta do to get those hype eggs, then people are probably gonna disregard it. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Did you like it? Did you not care? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about this big bad boy right here. It's the free exclusive egg. Now, this was supposed to show up for players randomly all over the place when the update came out. I don't know if you guys saw this tweet by the official Big Games account, but it said, next update, free exclusive eggs. And we were pumped about this. They said, yes, you read that right, free. Find and break this giant egg 
happens randomly. And check it out, people were stoked about this. Night Fox said, Pet Sim, are you sure it wasn't hacked free? This person was completely blown away by this. Gravy Catman says, this is amazing. This guy says, that's big, free. Everyone was pretty darn pumped about it. There were tons of people that were super stoked to get a free exclusive egg just pop up randomly. And for more clarification, I was online for about four hours during the update and we checked out everything. And I didn't see this exclusive egg pop up one single time. I even asked everybody during the live stream if they saw the egg pop up for them and nobody said they saw it. So that's why everyone was really upset that they said this was gonna be so cool it was gonna show up everywhere but it didn't actually show up for anybody. In fact, this is the only picture that I found on Twitter on day of release that the egg actually showed up for anyone. And gamers, this is one of those moments where I would love to look like an idiot here. So if you guys saw this thing populate for you guys, or if you had a friend that had it populate or whatever, I would genuinely love to know how many of you guys actually saw this thing. And I truly don't know why this wasn't a little more abundant for most players because all the big games partners got 200 of those exclusive eggs for free. So right out the gate, there were tons of them being hatched. I saw one YouTuber who doesn't even play Pet Sim 99 open 200 eggs just because they got them. And I'm sure Big Games has a couple more partners that don't really play this game anymore. What I'm trying to say is there was a lot being opened, probably more than any other update before it. So I just don't get why you wouldn't throw one of those eggs for someone to break, even if that thing had like 70 bajillion health or something like that. Give them a chance to try to get an exclusive pet. Anyways, enough about that. Let's go and head over to the uh, experience potion machine. I'm going to explain this thing real quick. I think it's area 166. The experience potion machine. When I first heard about this, I was like, all right, this is awesome. I mean, guys, it took me six weeks of grinding for 24 hours a day to get to Breakable's Mastery 99. I was very pumped about this. Not to mention, it takes a lot of stuff to get all your masteries up to level 99. I haven't even started really doing the fishing thing because it takes absolutely forever to level up a bunch of these things. Not to mention, if you guys have huge pets, just to get them to go to the next rank is absolutely insane. I mean, I've been grinding most of these pets for since I started playing this game, and most of my huge pets are still not max rank. On top of that, don't even get me started on the ultimate XP, because as you guys know, I don't know if you guys use your ultimate like ever, but it takes forever to get these guys to level up to level 99. I mean, I don't even know what the black hole is. This one's at level 96. I use this for like five weeks straight. So anyways, let's talk about this. The Mastery XP Potion Machine. You can upgrade your hugest faster, your Titanics, your Mastery, and your ultimate a little bit faster, okay? So let's just pretend we want to upgrade our huge. We get 10,000 experience for one potion. And I mean, on paper, this looks like a really good idea, right? It costs 50,000 diamonds, five magic shards, and 10 experience charms. When this first came out, these experience charms were going for like a thousand. And I said, these things are gonna skyrocket in value. As you guys can see, they have risen to 26,000 gems per experience charm. And I only see this thing going up after this. So let's say for example, you wanna give one huge pet one XP potion. It would cost you 50,000 diamonds. These magic shards, which are now 12,000 gems a piece, so let's just say 60,000 gems for this, and you need 10 of these bad boys, which is gonna cost you 267,000 gems to do that. So with all this together, it's gonna cost you roughly about 370,000 gems to get one huge XP potion. So let's go and talk about this rainbow crocodile here. He's level 96. To get to level 97, it needs a million experience. Okay, so if I get 10,000 experience per potion, I would need, and I'm at 130,000 now, just to get to 200,000, I would need seven of those potions. And seven of those potions at 370,000. And because of math, everybody, it would cost this crocodile almost 3 million gems just to get 10,000 experience closer to 1 million. So to take that a step further, if we wanted to go all the way to a million and actually level them up one level, I would need, let's see here, 80 of those experience potions plus the seven more to get there. So I would need 87 experience potions to get this guy to go to level 97. So if we did a little bit of math here, if we did 370,000 gems per experience potion, we would need 87 of those to get him to level 97. It would cost me 32 million gems 
just to get this huge crocodile one extra level. I don't know about you guys, but 37 million gems to get me one level is certainly not worth it. So without ripping big games anymore and actually being banned from Pet Sim 99 forever, let me explain why this experience potion thing is actually good. Let me show you guys something. So obviously using experience potions on high level huge pets and titanics is an absolute horrible idea. Let's just say high level anything is going to be an absolutely terrible idea. But let me show you guys something else. So obviously 10,000 experience, okay? If you guys have a low level mastery, that is where this thing's going to come in incredibly handy. If we go over to mastery, I only got, uh, let's see, I'm a level 16 key mastery guy. To get to the next rank on this is 369 experience. So in reality, I would only have to make like three or four. I don't even know how many. I, I don't even want to do the math. But you would only need about three or four, maybe five experience potions to get this to level 40 so that we can finally craft all those keys once again. That's where it comes in handy is that way you don't have to grind out those things in the early stages to get yourself the better perks. So use this machine for early stage uh, these things, not for the higher stages because you're just going to waste your money. Anyway, gamers, I got one more thing that I want to talk about and it has to do with the mailbox. Now that affects me quite a bit because I send so many huge pets in the mail to all of you guys. So as I mentioned earlier, the more that you guys send, the more this thing goes up and it resets every single day. There's a reason that they did this, but I'll explain that in just a second. Like I mentioned before, I was live for right, the entire update and uh, check this out. I gave away so many happy. huge pets to the point where it was costing me 5 million oh, gems just to send to one huge pet. Right? And unfortunately, gamers, I hate to say this, but I get the reason that they decided to do that. It does suck for me because obviously I send a lot of those huge pets over but the reason they decided to add a higher gem uh increase for whenever you guys send stuff is that exploiters were basically getting a bunch of stuff and sending it to the main accounts i mean you guys remember the whole uh the whole the uh, present thing that was happening where people were just writing a script popping all the balloons and sending all their stuff over to the other accounts so people were exploiting that quite a bit they were sending over millions upon millions upon millions of gems and inflating the trading plaza quite a bit so the fact that they added that increase right there has actually been a pretty big deal. I've noticed that uh, huge pets across the board have been getting cheaper and cheaper over the last couple of days. I mean, right now, happy computers are down from 47 million all the way down to almost 39 million. So it's been helping a little bit. I don't know if that's the exact reason, but it's been a pretty big decrease. So sucks for me, but great for the game overall. Oh, wait, and one more thing I forgot to mention. Let's hop in the teleporter one more time. And I think it is over. Is it this one? Forge machine, there we go. Okay, we gotta go talk about this really quickly here. Absolutely crazy. My opinion, everybody, before we even talk to this thing, um, never go here, never ever, okay? I'm gonna explain why here, check this out. So if you guys wanna make, let's just pretend you wanna make a charm stone real fast, okay? One singular charm stone, okay? Remember, you guys get one of these items from a charm stone, okay? To make a charm stone, it costs you, let's see, 35 strength charms? Nope, not quite. How about 37 agility charms? Nope. You got to keep going. How about 31 bonus charms? There we go. It would cost a hundred regular charms to get one charm stone that sells for 23,000 gems. Wow. This is absolutely crazy. I'm sure that they'll probably nerf the requirements at some point, but guys, right now, this machine has got to be the biggest scam ever to be added to Pet Simulator 99. I mean, look at this, look at this. If you want to do royalty charms and glittering charms and those experience charms and lightning charms, you still would not have enough to make one charm stone. So if you guys are thinking of coming over here to get yourself a charm stone, don't even Think about it. And if you guys didn't see the video where Night Fox called me out for saying you can get a guaranteed huge pet for the update, you guys have got to watch this video right here because I explain it and go over everything. Other than that, gamers, I appreciate you so very much. Enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.